Uh, we're live from Tomorrowland. We've got Oliver Heldens in the studio. Uh, we're Faz and Jade. By the way, Jade, do you notice what I'm seeing? I uh, know, a jazzy shirt, yeah. Faz. <laughs> I was going to say. Into I'm into it. Talk us through your jazzy, jazzy shirts, Oliver. Thanks, yeah. I, 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 I love those jazzy shirts. I love it. Uh, you yeah. know, you've got a little uh, sort of bush going on on your uh, current shirt. You go from uh, colourful ones, different types, shapes, sizes, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have ones with uh, bananas. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. I have like those more exotic ones with like with like like Indonesian like batik style. Nice. Ah. Is that and what you is, uh, is that what you're wearing today? No, this is just the. Uh, is your casual know, shirt? This, I guess this I guess this one is one of the more normal ones. Is Amazing. it is it somehow like a, a lucky charm for you to wear tropical prints? Uh, no, uh, I, I I don't really believe in that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's an alter ego on stage. Yeah. Talk to us about your remake of Sydney Sampson's uh, Riverside because. That just went off, didn't it? Yeah, um, uh, I, I I was working on this new track in like January with this uh, this very bouncy uh, drop, mm -hmm. and then uh, yeah, well while, while, while I was making it, I was like, oh, like, this could work well w together with the Riverside sample. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So then I kind of shaped that drop around uh, the Riverside sample, and then yeah, th and then we got this result. It is amazing. Why are so many DJs from the Netherlands? What's going on? Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty <laughs> crazy because we're such a small country. But um, yeah, I, I guess like like dance music, uh, like s since it arrived in the Netherlands in like the early '90s, it blew up like really quickly and was like mainstream real quick. So so on the radio, you you would hear also like proper dance tunes. Um, yeah, I remember like si from the early '90s, we already had really really big uh, like uh, festivals and and big big events. Uh, yeah, so then many many people started DJing and producing music, mm -hmm. and that just yeah, went went over from generation to generation. Mm. Yeah, so you know, in tomorrow line, you're obviously going to meet up with a lot of DJs. And which fellow DJ are you most close to? Which one I'm most close to? Yeah. Um, he can't be Dutch. No, he can't. Or she? <laughs> yeah, they're <laughs> she, no. they're, they're they're probably Dutch. Like I'm I'm really close with, with Chocolate Puma. Uh, we also made a couple of tracks together, and actually they're. They're for me. They're really big examples. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I'm pretty close with, with Chesto. Cool. Uh, he's also kind of the nice. one who took me on board uh, on a, in a very early stage of my career. Um, Amazing. And and yeah. between us three, okay, who would you least likely like to bump into backstage? <laughs> least likely. <laughs> who would you least like to bump into? Mm. <laughs> oh, I, I really can't think of anybody right now. Don Diablo? No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, no, no. We're also really close. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm. So well, talk to me about your worst shopping mistake. It can't, worst, it can't be a tropical shirt. <laughs> my worst shopping mistake. Um, well, I, like lately, I got a little bit overexcited with uh, because I, I, I discovered this app where you can order shoes. Yeah, and you can also order like loads of like limited edition uh, shoes, which you can't really get in the stores. And um, yeah, I got a little bit overexcited, and <laughs> I think I ordered like. Like 12 pairs. Amazing. How uh, many pairs of shoes do you have in general? Do you know? I don't know. Probably like 30 or maybe more 40 pairs. Okay. Did you return any of them? No, no. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, with like online shopping, you can't really like be sure like if they fit well or I know, not. it's true, actually. I think, yeah. Faz, are you asking for a pair of um, Oliver Hardy <laughs> shoes? It's not appropriate. Uh, right. So also, what's your main track that you go to to get the crowd going? My main track I go to? Well, I guess, I guess in my case, it's a Gecko. Uh, I mean, it was, well, that was like my breakthrough track, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, and, 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 and still the track worked really well in my sets. It, I guess it, it now actually worked even better than uh, four years ago when it came out. Mm. Um, it is a massive track, isn't yeah. it? Thanks. Yeah. And uh, whose vocals would you love to hear on one of your tracks? Yeah, I'm gonna think of my. We'll, come, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. Yeah. Dance FM is based in Dubai, and you played at Zero Gravity not yeah. long ago. How? What? What are your vibes on Dubai? How much do you like it? Love it? Hate it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it's really fun. I, I like it a lot. Yeah, I played at Zero Gravity like three times now, or maybe even four. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's it's always a good time. And I, I also like that the crowd is um, it's, it's, yeah, it's like a nice mix of nationalities. Yeah. Yeah, and and finally, how are you feeling about playing at Tomorrowland? Oh, I mean, uh, great, great! Yeah, it's uh, it is definitely one of the best the best festivals. It's probably the best the best uh, dance festival around. 
Amazing. And have you been out there already? Uh, not, 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 not on the, on the festival ground. Uh, I, I just arrived and I was at the, the artist village. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. But, but, but maybe after my set, I'm going to go uh, in the nice. crowd. Are you going to dress up or are you going to you know, go in camouflage or are you just going to be you? Yeah, then I'm <laughs> going to camouflage. 